up everyone it's Evan from Every Flight. I'm here with the other new car guys uh, in the last video that you guys saw. You guys saw the uh, Evie's car that I got um, and now you guys are going to see the other new car that I got. Um, I got this off of a person I know, a good buddy of mine and uh, how we're doing this is he gave me this car and I'm going to be giving him a wagon of mine. Um, he hasn't seen the wagon yet, but I'm going to get a couple pictures of, him, of it to him eventually. Um, probably maybe do that even today if I get motivated enough to do it. But I finally just got this car unloaded, and uh, we are going to build this car. Uh, maybe for this winter, maybe for next year. I have not decided yet. Guys, are ready to see what it is? It is a 1990s Monte Carlo, guys. Uh, this car does run and drive. It does has it does has his setup in this car right now. Um, I am going to be giving this back to him. Uh, it's got his gas tank. That's my battery, but it's got his gas tank uh, cables and stuff in it. Uh, that will all go back to him. And basically, uh, eventually I'll cut out the cage. This was a race car at one time, guys. And uh, he got it. I don't know what he got it for, but he got it and he was going to derby it. And then he asked me if he would be willing, or if we'd be doing, be willing to do some trading because he wants to get into big cars, guys. Um, and I said, yeah, sure. I'd gladly help him out. Uh, he's a good buddy of mine. Um, uh, he is actually the one that uh, ran the Paw Patrol car, guys. And... Uh, he asked me if it, if I'd help him out, and I gladly would. Um, so I, I figured I'd help him out. He's helping me out getting another car in my collection. But this car is not the cleanest, not the greatest, but it runs and drives. It has a 3100 in it, not that 38 junk motor. What do you want, dog? Yeah, I here. But I got this car from him. Uh, the few things I have to do is I got to cut these window bars out, or at least a couple of them. Uh, the passenger window is covered, and then this is also covered. So, er, it's kind of hard to get in and out of the car, so it's whatever. Uh, they, it looks like they blew pretty big holes into it. I'll probably end up patching them or whatever, or doing something good with it. Uh, tires are not the greatest, but eh. It's whatever. We'll put a different bumper up front. Uh, this will more than likely be a more built car. A built built uh, mini car instead of a bone stock mini car. Uh, it is clean enough to do that. And it's uh, uh, yeah, it's kind of it's questionable. Like that side over there. Um, I'm pretty sure the control arm is loose but it looks like they put a big plate through there so that way it didn't fall through and the trunk is pushed up and weird but that's no big deal but that is going to be the plans is build this more into a built car instead of a bone stock car but we'll see i have not decided yet it does run and drive. I drove it onto the trailer, so that's a plus. It's got a little paint scheme going, but I will change that up eventually. But it's a cold one out here, guys. Um, I got to get this car covered, keep all this stuff from not getting all um, well, snowed on for sure. I'll probably just take the gas tank out for sure and put that in my shop. That way it's out of the elements. But... Yeah, there's another car here, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, yes, I know I've been getting more and more cars, but I do have another big surprise, guys. Oh, not, it's not really a surprise, but I got a lot of new derby products I got to show you guys. But thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate, appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy that Relic car. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. And we'll catch you guys all in the next video.